Hello, my lovely hummingbirds. How's it going, everyone? Uh, <laughs> welcome to another episode of A Grain of Salt here on Pop Culture with I, your lovely host, Monroe. On today's episode, if my contacts would like to focus, please and thank you, uh, <laughs> we are going to be doing a pick a card reading. And it is a finance advice pick a card sort of kind of but it kind of also ended up being love related and I'm totally blaming the full moon on that one uh <laughs> the yeah I'm recording this intro post recording the video because I just felt like it was necessary now we do cover over finances a little bit let me get my notebook so confirmation to what I'm about to say Initially, this started off as simply just being a business, finance, money read. In honor of me launching my Calendly, which by the way, you can reserve your very own personal readings with all your lovely host by following the link in the description. Now, I just, I don't know, you know, I want to say that the messages that you are going to hear are the messages that had to be heard simply and plainly because there is no other explanation <laughs> for why shit got just so crazy in this reading but i hope you enjoy them we do have three piles and in each of the piles we are covering your current financial situation obstacles with money what you are being called to do by the universe and then just some final overall messages uh but yeah and as always take what resonates leave what doesn't leave what does not resonate and follow me on all of my handles uh that's it <laughs> i hope you enjoy the reading my lovely hummingbirds i love y'all and i'll catch you on the next one okay bye hello my lovely hummingbirds how's it going everyone and welcome to today's pick a card on today's pick a card we are going to be covering finances career money all the cha-ching cha-ching that is coming in may and if you hear that revving in the background confirmation abundance is in overflow so my lovely hummingbirds for today's pick a card you are going to be picking from three separate oracle cards from three separate decks uh take your time breathe in choose wisely no pressure uh <laughs> no this is not only going to decide your abundance for may this is where you are going financially with the current energy in general so yeah take a moment pick your card and go ahead and click in the description for your section all that good stuff but yeah these are your choices hello my lovely pile ones if you did pick pile one then this is your card this gorgeous card is the new opportunities card from the magic of the unicorns oracle deck now for this card we are going to read for you your overall message the overall message is declutter your life glimpse a magical doorway when you declutter your cupboards you create space for the new to come in your guidance is to tidy up your life now this doesn't just refer to the physical stuff a clear out also releases unhelpful thought patterns and emotional attachments it re-energizes you in the same way that pruning a rose bush encourages the plant to grow bigger and bloom more prolifically than before the unicorn card suggests it is time for a physical emotional and mental sort out are your job home relationships and friendships hobbies soul beliefs serving your spiritual path 
Do they fulfill and satisfy you? Do they support you and bring you love and joy? Look carefully and honestly at every area of your life. For this one though, as I was reading for new opportunities, I was getting heavy on the people declutter aspect. Well, yes, you probably have like some extra mess and you know, spring cleaning kind of here for you, my lovely hummingbirds, means people. It means toxic ways of being, toxic individuals, people that, well, are keeping you in the old way of doing things. And whether that might be fuckboy, fuckgirl tendencies, it can also be a party life that no longer is sustainable for your health. Be careful of who and what you are allowing into your space and especially where you're spending your time, energy, and money. Now, I'll say to you, like, my hair, it's like, little like ooh cat girl ears but with my hair i don't know it was just the vibe for the day <laughs> we're gonna pull some tarot cards for you and your tarot deck which honestly falls in line perfectly with the card it is the threads of fate shadow edition the weaver tarot deck and honestly i love this deck because it is very tell it like it is let's bring out the deep dark secrets <laughs> that you don't want to work on because i'm getting you've been avoiding your shadow work baby don't do that it's kicking you in the ass now ain't it oof and a big oof and a big oof and a big oof all right what do my lovely hummingbirds need to know in regards to their career and finances? What are these new opportunities? And by the way, so with the tarot, as I stated in the introduction, we are going to have a breakdown of your current financial situation. Wow, that just went everywhere as I said that. <laughs> we have the two of swords six of coins and the eight of wands baby <laughs> you've uh, been making some messy choices here haven't you so six of coins is usually like handing out money Two of Swords is being blinded to the situation, not really seeing things for what they are, and in this case, not seeing people for what they really are. And you have the Eight of Wands as your overarching message for this one. Okay. No, this one. Interesting. <laughs> so I was watching a tarot video uh julissa's messages and one of her videos she was talking about like the situation and basically where a person chose their habits and tendencies and all this stuff instead of choosing the person that they're supposed to be with in life so they were like fuck you i'm gonna go party and be on demon time type of shit and in one of the comments someone said <laughs> honestly i cackled but in the comment she essentially said um every time a man hurts every single woman in his life is because his soulmate is a man and the overarching like message of her reading was that <laughs> you uh chose your friends over your person but these aren't friends that mean well they're just people that you've known for a really long time and you've both been kind of so stuck in each other's asses forever and a day that well <laughs> sorry i'm not laughing at you my love i'm just laughing i'm totally laughing at you i'm sorry uh you're not gonna like the <laughs> baby okay so basically i'm getting that vibe 
from this reading and if you are so inclined go ahead and check it out i will include the link to her video in the description but <laughs> so i'm over here trying to make space for all of this <laughs> which is probably how you're feeling but look one of the things and i feel like this has been a recurring theme for the past couple of like days honestly and even one of my besties ava brand she made a video discussing this but it was basically the sensation of like in order to receive what it is that you truly and genuinely want in life you're gonna have to let something else go because obviously in order for more you need space right you can't just start trying to hoard everything into every little fucking crevice and then it's like to the brim of bursting and you're like yay it's working and then poof, explosion right no you need to make space for the things that you actually want to actually need and the things that are going to be good for you and for your life so as much as it sucks you're gonna have to let go of some people because they're not well intentioned the things that they are plotting <laughs> whether it's done from like a place of the intent to hurt you or not is not the point here the point here is it's being done regardless and it's gonna bite you in the ass if you don't make the choice that the universe is telling you to make because if you keep going on the path that you're going you are gonna be unwell to say the least so my lovely hummingbirds this is your reading so as you saw uh your reading is split in two sort of i had to like conjoin the pictures because there's a lot going on here and i didn't have enough space on my table <laughs> anyway where you currently find yourself is the two of swords the six of coins and the eight of wands as i stated this is very it's giving it's giving you were offered an opportunity of give and take you thought it was going to be very abundant because the person offering it to you is a person that you've known for a very long time it's someone that you confide in you put your trust in they haven't let you down before so you think hello um okay interesting don't know what that's about but we're gonna find out and you saw the opportunity you saw how it could be fruitful and you were like okay yeah no this is gonna go great this is gonna go fine i can do this because i trust them it's a plan it's solid it'll work and then lo and behold it didn't and you are on the other end of it juggling with the two of coins, the conqueror of wands, and the ruler of cups. So the conqueror of wands is essentially the knight of wands in the traditional Rider Waite tarot, and the ruler of cups is the king of cups. What this means is where you currently are with your obstacles. As far as finances, you are juggling a million things in one and not just a million things in one but also you are juggling on what the fuck it is you're actually going to be doing with your life for like the future so and it has to do because this situation did not play out the way that you thought it would and it might have left you high and dry it might have let you grow at first but then you saw that it was essentially a bottomless pit because with the snake here baby i'm not saying you're surrounded by snakes but so one of the things of like you are stressed and it is stressing me it's okay breathe Todo tiene solución. Everything has a solution. Okay? You just have to be willing to 
find interesting ways for that solution. Now, the way that this person essentially siphoned your money, because that's pretty much what happened, it was like you had the sensation of this is too good to be true because I thought of like Tooth Fairy here, like it felt like very easy money, right? Taking candy from a baby. And to me, I don't know if it is an amethyst, but I thought of amethyst with the crystal here. So like it seemed like the perfect thing at the time, especially because you were very enveloped. Like I said, you were on demon time. You were on this like I don't give a fuck, fuck bitches, pussy weed money, like really just on this vibe of I'm gonna get my bag, I don't care what the universe is telling me, who has time for feelings, who has time for emotions, uh, this person, my person, you've probably talked shit on their name and you've called them crazy and X, Y, and Z type of things, and now you're sitting here and you're like, I'm crazy, I'm looking real fucking crazy right now because what did I do? you were doing a whole a whole lot of people uh get tested <laughs> that's not for everybody but please get tested and you've been in heavy contemplation about like how is this actually fulfilling you with the ruler of cups like ruler of cups is the perfect balance between your head and your heart and the fact that it lies in your obstacles as a clarifier is you are not just in a sense of like fighting your head and your heart of what is logical and what isn't logical it's you're fighting your head of you know the situation isn't good for you anymore but then you're also like but that's my friend and then at the same time you're like damn but on the other end of this is my person what the hell do i do and if you're thinking of juggling both situations and that it's all gonna go freely and smoothly and perfectly it's not you're going to have to make a choice. And with that choice, you're going to have to make a sacrifice. You're going to have to make, that sounds so dramatic and not like, not like you're going to offer them up, like to actually be murdered or anything like that. I really hope not. Uh, but your advice for moving forward, you have the 10 of cups with the tower, the nine of cups, and the fool. And this is why I said you weren't gonna like it because everyone feels very icky towards the tower card. And let me tell you why it's a good thing. So <laughs> the tower card essentially represents very, very fast change. It represents an upheaval and change is scary. The reason people don't like the tower card showing up is because tower moments come with a whole lot of shadow work, a whole lot of what the fucks, and a whole lot of stress and anxiety, and nobody likes upheaval change because upheaval change is never fun. Your advice being ten of cups and tower, the universe is literally telling you to do what you already know what they've already shown you to do especially in your dreams because in your dreamland in whatever the fuck you call your dreamscape <laughs> i was hearing some names uh and i don't know why i heard interesting uh, in your dream world every time that you were there you saw your person you saw your ten of cups you saw your happily ever after marriage babies babies you saw your person you saw all that abundance i don't know if you guys heard that rubbing in the back but you saw a life filled of joy and living your purpose next to your significant other next to some for some of you it's a twin flame sorry y'all uh <laughs> and you might not have seen this friend there you might not have seen this person there and you're sitting there and you're like no <laughs> That's crazy. They've been there my whole life. Why? For some of you, it is your whole life. Why would they not be there? Because they can't both coexist. When you go for your person, the reason why you've been avoiding it, like, like the fucking plague, you are the chaser and you are acting real runner, my friend. You, 
that was personal. Uh, <laughs> Y'all good? <laughs> I can't relate. I am the runner, so I'm just chilling over here at this point. I'm not even running anymore. I can't even say it's a light jog, but, and that's probably how your person's feeling too. They're like, <laughs> Y'all messy of y'all watching this. Why y'all snooping? Anyway. Mm. You've been working on regulating your emotions. So before I started the reading, I was like, hmm, what crystals am I going to wear for this reading? And then Howlite is very, very good for anger management. You've probably been having some heavy ass spirals with everything going on and you're just like, fuck this, fuck her, fuck him, fuck everybody, fuck my life, da -da -da -da. because everything feels so chaotic. The more that you go towards your person, towards the person that you are guaranteed abundance with, by the way, is... <laughs> the reason yes that you are going through these tower moments because tower moments make space and if this thing not if because this thing that you have with your person is so incredible and so amazing and probably you've been called a fucking fool for going for them because it's something that is going to this isn't for everyone but if you picked pile one and you know you're in a twin flame journey at this point you both know you're both awakened to it you're aware of the situation you are meant to do something that is literally going to change the world whether that is through your work together or because you guys are going to breed star seeds not breed jeez birth star seeds uh or hmm wonder why i said breed you might have issues with your family revolving around like marriage, tradition, kids, things like that. Uh, there might be some negative. Your person might have fertility issues and you've been told like you can't procreate with this person. So what are you doing? Uh, that's not for everyone, but look, my love. Everything is possible. Science is ever changing. Uh, adoption is a thing. Uh, surrogates are a thing. Miracles happen every day, I'm sure. The reason why, and I'm trying to find a way to, like, my brain feels so fucking jumbled. Like, it feels like hangover brain. Uh, and if you're overdoing it on the alcohol consumption or consumption of other forms please stop i saw 11 11 as i started saying that on my thing of me recording um <laughs> being careful of the things you say while under the influence because like i don't know I'm going to try and translate this into English, but in Spanish, we have a saying that goes, Los niños y los borrachos dicen la verdad, which is the kids and drunks say the truth. And when you get intoxicated, you start running your pretty little mouth about your person and everything you've seen and every dream and all the abundance and all this good shit. But baby, let me tell you, not everybody has good intentions for you. Not everyone in your circle has good intentions for you. And this person, que te metió los cuernos, this person that like cheated on you, that you dated, that's part of your friend group, ain't your friend. If anything, they don't want you to be with this person. Partly because they want you. Other part because they just don't want you to be happy because fuck you. <laughs> uh, sounds shitty, I know. But you're being told to lean into the upheaval. The way to move forward for you, my love, is to go after your person, to go after this Ten of Cups that you've seen, and to lean into the chaos that is going to come with it of that tower moment. Because what you have with them ain't just about you. And I know you're probably like, but what the fuck? I didn't ask for this. Uh, sucks to suck, but yeah, you did. 
I uh, wow, rude universe. <laughs> so essentially, one of the things that like, especially for twin flames, is you chose this path for this lifetime with your person and even all this betrayal and all this chaos was written in the stars essentially so yeah you saw a holo clip right before they threw you back onto earth and you were like yeah i'll do that and they're like okay and now because we're human and we actually feel all the hurt and the pain and the emotions we're like hmm i didn't pick this <laughs> yes you did and you also picked being in this situation because you made the active choice of doing the things you knew you weren't supposed to be doing, surrounding yourself in toxicity and these people and all this bullshit instead of just going after your person because it seemed scary to be like, hey, so I'm in love with you, have been for some of you a very long time. And now you're like, shit, how do I go forward? Lesser two evils, babe, at this point, you're gonna have to own up to your shit come forward to your person and be like hey this is what happened and then have that conversation and move forward i don't know why i have to say this but for a lot of you that are afraid of this rejection they're not going to reject you they're just not uh they do love you and honestly even that is terrifying the fuck out of you because my whole heart just went it's okay now little little tidbit that the universe is giving you there uh five of swords three of wands and the anchor which in traditional tarot is the emperor you are the emperor to her empress and in order to get your empress you gotta make space with this five of swords you gotta start cutting shit out and with the three of wands here not only am I getting, you're going to have to leave these third party situations that you were placing yourself in, but you are going to have to make the active choice of staying in your path and staying with your person. Because these people, these situations aren't just going to freely and openly and willy nilly back down with new opportunities. As I read, like you have a myriad of beautiful things coming for you if you let them if you are not afraid to go after them because if you are the chaser and you are acting in runner energy nothing good is gonna come to you from that and your person has been healing and doing the work and trust me they're also facing their own shit because you're not there it is that simple because you're not there now they have to deal with the fact that hey your person is uh not here because they simply chose not to be and well sucks to suck my guy like are you seriously telling me pile one that you are okay with putting your person your divine other half of your fucking soul through hell through bankruptcy through depression, through anxiety, through all these emotions. Like, genuinely. Until you get it together or they get reworked to somebody else and you stay miserable. Just because somebody's telling you that you're here for a good time, not a long time. So you might as well keep partying it up and doing all this fucking shenanigan mess bullshit. That clearly is leaving you in the dirt. Tell me, how is that a friend? Tell me, how is that somebody that loves you? No. If you are not building and growing and moving forward in life to the next stages with the people that are surrounding you, you need to take a really good hard look at who you're placing value into. 
for your final messages from the universe my lovely pile ones i'm sorry that was such a hard ass reading uh we are gonna do an extended on only fans on the link in the description and on there we're gonna see you know what other areas could be affected and just a quick little like boost because i think for y'all especially you you need a little a little boost of confidence especially after all my fucking scolding over here i'm so sorry <laughs> i did not know it was gonna be such a hard ass reading okay i can't say that because i did use the shadow edition of the weaver tarot so it's the message you had to hear uh but yeah so <laughs> last little final messages access your gifts my lovely hummingbird you are a divine being it is time you start accepting that shit pool of christ light now if you do not believe in jesus christ uh what i'm getting is you need to really meditate you need to pray you need to allow yourself to listen to the guidance of the universe the guidance of your angels of your guardians of your spiritual team of your ancestors of whomever you believe in that is sending you messages on what to do it's time to get on your hands and your knees and be like i am sorry that i did not listen and that i intentionally ignored everything you were telling me but i'm willing and ready now and even if you are scared shitless trust me the outcome is absolutely fucking worth it it is beautiful because a lot of you y'all got billionaire status coming in <laughs> okay but only if you go with your person sorry <laughs> soul healing and when i said that only if you go with your person if you have commitment issues it is time to start working on that and diving into why that is because your commitment issues might not just solely be relationship based it might be due to family shit it might even be because of the situations that you were intentionally placing yourself by going down for the ride all the time with these people uh one of the things is align with your essence who are you who is it that you are? Who is it that you want to be in life? Who is it that you actually see yourself as and move forward as that person? Because this whole little fuck boy, like being on some demon time bullshit ass facade that you got going on, baby. That's not you. It's time to embrace that soft boy era, baby. <laughs> divine potential yes accept your divine potential number 35 some of you may be 35 some of you are thinking holy shit i'm about to hit 30 this year where's my life gonna be in five years from now uh three plus five is also eight which is the number of transformation again lean into it allow it to come forward allow it to happen but also 21 21 on my timer go ahead and take the necessary steps towards what the universe is guiding you to do fulfill your destiny be all you can be final message on that card violet flame i mentioned dreams earlier and i'm getting that you are connecting with your person heavily in the 5d in the dream world they probably blocked your ass in the fucking 5d and that's also why you're losing your shit because you don't see them anymore and you're just like what the fuck i fucked up they yeah baby they got tired of it they said come in the 3d or vete pa la chingada <laughs> some of you might be latino or <laughs> about a latina i don't know what to tell you but with the violet flame so the violet flame invoke the cosmic diamond violet flame transmute all that is not love allow love in let love come forward be with your baby be a beacon be an inspiration light the way for others as your final message confirmation i saw 2233 as i started reading this card you and your person have something incredible to do in this life whether it is be teachers for others whether it is paving the way in some form of like social justice thing creating uh non-for-profits for some of you charity work for others 
being teachers for others, being mentors, doing things to push society forward as a whole, like even probably inspiring others with your love story. Like you guys have a very beautiful and bright and abundant future. There's this thing that popped into my head earlier and I had no idea why. And I was like, hmm, I was like in my you know, meditative state and doing my thing. And it was like the weirdest, randomest flash because that was not the purpose of my meditation today. I was like, huh, wonder what that's about. <laughs> Here we are. Hello, pile one. And the message essentially was this. It was bold of you to assume that the universe was going to wait for you to decide to get it together and show up in their life when everything was complete and done when in reality you're supposed to thrive together but because we have free will if you choose not to they were your gift from the universe they were everything you've ever prayed for. And if you don't move forward with what you know you're supposed to be doing, it will be a they were versus a they are. All right, my lovely hummingbirds, that's it. Uh <laughs> for your reading today my lovely pile ones i love you i'm sorry that shit was intense uh but if you are so inclined to stay for any of the other piles do so uh go check out the extended readings on OnlyFans. but <laughs> if you want a more personalized reading catered to you by yours truly go ahead and follow the link down below to make an appointment with me via calendly where i will provide to you your very own reading and yeah you could even be like hey i'm coming from pile one i need advice help i got you <laughs> but <laughs> that is it for you today my lovely hummingbirds if this is where you're leaving me les mando mucha paz muchos besos y les recuerdo que miren hacia la luna sending you much peace many kisses and running you to always look up at the moon i love you so much yeah that's it okay i love you bye pile one i hope you enjoyed the reading Hello, my lovely hummingbirds. Hello, my lovely pile twos. How's it going, y'all? If you picked the abundance card, then this is your reading. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. And gratitude and bliss. So, a little tidbit of advice, and I, <laughs> I say things. Uh... If you picked that card, you also picked the traditional Rider Waite tarot deck. And I think my love, so one of the things that happened as I was pulling the cards out is this came out. And the card on the cover is the Magician, which is typically for a lot of the Rider Waites. But on the booklet that comes with it, it's the Empress card. And if you're coming from pile one and you're snooping, yeah, this is your person's reading. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, pile two, sorry. Yeah, I know. You're over it. You're over the twin flame journey. You're over the bullshit. They're the emperor in pile one. You should probably go listen if you didn't already. Your nosy asses, I love you. But what I'm getting from you is you have been in a very practical push, go, move forward doing your shit getting it done type of mindset especially with the fact that for your pile it was the rider weight that is the tarot we are using today you're ready you're ready to be in an overflow you are ready to not just give but receive and you are ready to see the fruits of your labor come forward now, as I mentioned, we are going to go over your current financial situation, obstacles, what the universe is telling you to do, and a little bit of advice at the end. But also, 
one of the things that I'm going to do when I said what the universe is telling you to do, this is for your current energy, my loves. This is for where you currently find yourself because we all have free will. Okay. How are both of y'all going through it? I would really like to know. <laughs> well, I mean, you are Twin Flames, so that's not for everyone, by the way. Okay, you have communication coming in very soon. <laughs> oh, this is so great. I was saying how you're the empress to his emperor, and when I said communication is coming in really fucking soon, the emperor card came out with the chariot <laughs> which essentially means that everything is flowing in divine right timing and i know you're probably so sick and tired of hearing that but alas my lovely here we are so we're gonna show you your whole reading now this is your reading all right <laughs> my lovely hummingbirds so where you currently are is the knight of pentacles in the reverse knight of wands upright and the ten of pentacles in the reverse you are currently in a financial slump it is not looking good and you're not feeling good and you have been very stressed trying to understand why the fuck nothing is working And you're not going to like the answer to that. So <laughs> I feel like you're already upset as is, especially because of this twin flame journey. You have had an overall lack of faith with this three of cups in the reverse. So your obstacles are knight of cups, five of swords, three of cups in the reverse, and the knight of wands in the reverse. You are like, nope, I don't fucking care nope it's not real nope it's all about me no i am sick and tired of waiting for them and this and that look no one is telling you <laughs> one 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 no one is telling you to wait for them no one is telling you that you cannot pursue your life and live however are you moving towards what you're supposed to be doing with joy and faith and abundance and trust in the process or are you spiting and spitting on their name every step of the way because they're not there you don't want to look back once you're in union and be like damn because it's happening quickly by the way in like the next few weeks and be like damn I had so much I could have been doing preparing me for this, but instead I was cursing you out your name every fucking chance I got. Don't do that. Right now, you need a positive mindset. You need to let go of these battles that are not suiting you. You need to trust that you have love coming in because it's coming in. You need to work on your throat chakra because my throat just hurt right now. Not like a thirsty kind of hurt like dehydrated hurt i mean like ow pain kind of hurt that toxic thing you were thinking about doing that person you were thinking about texting because you just need to bang one out because fuck it your person ain't coming in anyway <laughs> no don't do that shit you've been good don't do it it's not worth it you know that Yes, you have essentially been kept <laughs> squeaky clean for when your person comes in. Gross, I know, but baby. <laughs> if you do what you're thinking about doing, you're going to get sick. Have faith. Work on your faith. Work on your trust. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. Yeah, it really is. And you have 
you as a divine being, you as a divinatory being, so you probably read cards, you probably are very psychic, very intuitive yourself. You have to trust the process, trust your intuition, and trust the guidance that is being brought forward to you. I know you might not stand this person right now, but, you know, uh, cross that bridge when you get to it because your advice cards from the universe, when they come in, yes, you're already going to be glowing, but you're going to have to really hold on to that glow and remember who you are because you are the star, baby. Because what's coming in, they're coming in during their tower moment, which, like, you're going to be able to recognize that it is a tower moment. It's not your tower moment to have. So don't don't flip it and take on their messes and all this stuff because that's their lesson. You're just like, you're a squishy pillow. You're emotional support. You probably, why? <laughs> Hello? You probably are very voluptuous. <laughs> um, and they are gonna need your boobs and your butt and your thighs to just squish and be comfy in because they are gonna they are gonna go through it because coming towards you means they fully unlock their dark night of the soul and you remember how yours was and i know you're probably thinking of that tiktok sound of like who was ever there for me when i was going through it yeah well sorry to say baby but as a healer Part of your purpose in this role is to help uplift your twin. I know. Uh, but essentially, with the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords, I know, you got the Tower, you got the Five of Cups, you got the Three of Swords, you're like, bitch, this is looking real like heartbreak. Yes. Yes, it is. Because you guys are going to have a very, very... <laughs> difficult, ugly conversation about why they intentionally chose not to come forward and you're sitting there thinking why the fuck would I take them back? Some of you, you might have already been with this person. Uh, for some of you, I'm getting you never were with this person. Not fully. Like, you might have crushed on the person. You might have fucked the person. But it never actually reached, like, full relationship level because either one or both of you was on demon time or you were out here just chaos little bunnies everywhere. We all have free will. We all have free will to choose what it is that we want to do. Granted, you have a purpose that you're going to have to, one way or another, achieve together in this life. Uh, and even if you do get reworked and you get a new boo and a new person and it's beautiful and all this stuff, the longing will never go away. And yes, that longing, the one that you feel in the random middle parts of the day or the night and those pains for them and all this stuff. And you can tell yourself and your friends and even scream at God that you are done and you are healed and you are over it and blah, 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 blah. You're not. You can never be over the other half of your soul. Because that is literally being over yourself. And like, bitch, how are you going to be over yourself if you got to live with yourself? Like, you know what I'm saying? Money-wise, where you are headed, right? So you have the Eight of Wands. I'm like, can I count? Yes, the Eight of Wands the emperor and the chariot you are heading towards a very successful fruitful abundant future with your person but it's gonna take a whole lot of hard fucking work and a whole lot of fighting because it's in part that conversation with the ace of swords here you guys are gonna get real vulnerable about money and with the page of pentacles it's uh, it's going to move forward yes but you are gonna have to get real vulnerable about how you squandered your finances when you knew you should have been saving instead of going out too while you guys 
want to be billionaire so freaking bad yeah uh go ahead and click the link that's in there for this tarot video that i was watching i talk about it in pile one julissa's messages <laughs> she sings that song in there you do have a an abundant and prosperous future together and your person is going to come forward eventually i know you're sick and tired of that yes it is all in divine right timing but like i said for most of you it is going to be within the next few weeks uh because you're not going to have a hot girl summer i'm sorry but you're going to be a business woman doing her thing making that money but it is time that you take the blindfold off of your existence and put faith back into yourself back into the universe and really first off deal with your depression with the ten of swords here deal with your depression deal with your lack of sleep because a lot of you i'm getting you ain't sleeping you're up watching tarot videos at like one two in the morning <laughs> not judging thank you for the view i do it too but besides taking care of your body and your health you're also gonna have to really really put you out there a lot of you might be in media you might be an artist an influencer of some kind uh very well known in your respective fields or you are just an inch away from making the giant splash so that is going to get you noticed but you got to stop lowballing it you have to have to push forward for yourself genuinely I saw 1023 on my timer and 1023 for me is a divine number of like success, taking the right steps in life and beautiful and marriage and all these things. Um, all, all this, all this pretty shit. Uh, but look up 1023 if you want to on as like the angel number and stuff. But for me personally, that's what it means. And confirmation you have to really stop pretending stop pretending you're not good at what you do stop being fearful of being good at what you do stop thinking that you're a poser stop thinking that you're sabotaging your existence if the universe is guiding you even though it looks scary and terrifying and messy and it doesn't fucking make logical sense but you know in your heart of hearts this is the way because you feel it then do it stop procrastinating stop bullshitting stop stop dicking around in the pool i don't know who that's for but did i not just say go get tested be healthy stay clean be careful be careful before shit just starts falling over yeah anyway so you pick the abundance card so cute look dancing abundance and joy everywhere uh we're gonna get some final messages for you my lovely hummingbirds i feel like i'm just scolding everyone <laughs> this reading i'm so sorry i thought it was gonna be pretty this is this is not the route that i thought this reading was gonna take at all i'm just yelling over here like fuck but yeah, you really, you need to stop playing yourself. Like just trust, have a little faith in you. Have faith in the universe. Babe, you're alive so far to this point. The universe hasn't let you down. Don't be like, yes, it has. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't and you know it. Your choices might have fucked you over. Your choices. All choices have consequences but you need to really acknowledge yourself your capabilities keep learning keep moving forward step out of your comfort zone and do what is necessary to cut people out of your life that do not serve you any good any further and also if a situation is deaded let it be dead 
All right, you have quite a few cards here. Uh, interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So... Where you're headed. Your additional little advice of how to move forward and all this stuff. You got lightning, love call, I like you. Your person is going to make that phone call, tell you they know they're your twin flame with the chaser here. It popped out in reverse and then like did a little flip over and it slid on the table because they are finally done acting like the runner. You are going to be done acting like a chaser because your ass probably was reaching out to them too. And they are going to tell you that they've been healing their heart and ask you about how you've healed yours. And it's going to be a really beautiful conversation. Now, I do want to tell you my lovely, lovely hummingbirds. They were stuck in a karmic relationship. They didn't know how to get out of it. They were very confused. They have a snake in their midst, a person that is essentially watching all your shit, which confirms for a lot of you that you are on social media to some capacity, either whether it is you are an influencer or you have them in your friends list they know you mutual person you've probably known your person for a really long time i'm getting high school for a lot of you i'm getting college for some of you for some of you this could be a work related thing that's not for everybody that's for like 10 people the work related one yes i know i only said 10 i meant that shit. everybody else you you know this person from like when you were teenager type of thing so a lot of mutual people involved there best luck baby <laughs> that shit ain't easy but you have these people watching your shit because this karmic does not want to let go of your person they want to be you so fucking bad because your person wants to be with you so fucking bad and they don't get why they're not fucking good enough this person doesn't even actually want your person they just want to spite you because they don't understand why you glow the way that you do hand of cards take a chance take a risk boat receiving what you need yes this relationship is going to be beautiful and everything that you need and it is a heart with a key engagement ring cupid's arrow it is the person that you my lovely are destined to be with until you are old and wrinkly y te cuelguen las chichis so <laughs> I ain't translating that that was for whoever understood it but please please open your heart meditate speak with god and that job opportunity that you've been sitting on thinking like i don't know if i'm good enough i don't know if they're gonna accept me i don't know if i should take it oh yeah oh yes you should oh go for it because trust me every single fucking door that you've seen opened for you in your visions, in your dreams, in your downloads, in your messages from the universe. It's with this job. So take it. It's for you. Okay? I love you all so much, my lovely hummingbirds. That is the end of your reading for today. If you want to be nosy and go check out Pile 1, you can. Uh, <laughs> you're going to do it anyway. Uh, but if this is where you're leaving me... Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, I think I already mentioned it, but <laughs> extended reading on OnlyFans. Click the link in the description if you want to, because we're going to give you a little bit of oomph and happiness and joy advice because <laughs> I've been scolding you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, also, I laugh when I'm nervous, <laughs> by the way, and I have like, you know, coping mechanism. I joke. I <laughs> Life. Uh, don't know why that was very specific look at your coping skills you're gonna have to use them especially during this conversation <laughs> this conversation with your person they are coming in with a very delicate space and they might not understand that 
be be open be open be vocal about the fact of how you cope with things so that they don't find offense or are hurt or so there's no miscommunications or anything like that mercury is in reggaeton and we are in this bitch until the 14th of may so careful uh -huh. but also if you want to get a reading from me uh go ahead and click the link in the description as well to get one on my calendly and be like hey i'm coming from pile two from the finances and career help me and i got you we'll we'll do a reading for you and all that but if this is where you're leaving me my lovely hummingbirds as always les mando mucha paz muchos Besos. Y les recuerdo que miren hacia la luna. Sending you much peace, many kisses, and reminding you to always look up at the moon. I love y'all so much, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye! <laughs> Hello, my lovely hummingbirds. How's it going, everyone? So, for today's reading, if you picked the Good Fortune card, then this is your reading. Uh... <laughs> I'm laughing. Oh, I'm laughing because this is wild. So you have four of wands and for all of the piles so far, marriage love has definitely been a impact to essentially your finances, uh, which is very interesting. <laughs> Ooh, my lovely hummingbirds it is crazy crazy okay so you picked the good fortune card the number is 13 uh i know that that can often be seen as like a bad luck number but one plus three is four and then you got the four of wands a whole lot of protection and completion for you baby so we are reading it it is from the sacred symbols oracle deck and the good fortune card no matter what your your query the universe gives you its blessing and this is also a powerful time for manifesting so ask now for what you want more in your life it is granted acknowledge the blessings in your life and more will appear i'm hearing it you gotta be a little more grateful uh show gratitude to the universe be earnest be honest be open to what it is that it wants to provide for you because it is coming in an abundant manner it is coming in quickly so choose wisely uh, a lot of you might be faced with a decision to choose some of you it might be who you're choosing as your forever partner I got a hard, hard yes on that one. Oof. I know that is never easy. And you're thinking, oh my god. Why is it a choice? Why do I have to choose my partner wisely? Well, especially because we are talking about finances and career, my lovely hummingbirds. There is more to marriage than just love. There is more to relationships than just love. That being said, on today's reading, as I stated in the introduction, we are covering the obstacles. Sorry. We are covering where you currently are, your obstacles, how you're being told to move forward, and some tidbits of advice from the universe. Not I cut it and you got Queen of Swords energy. Mm, been a little emotionally detached lately from what we are doing and pursuing in life hustle mindset. That's not going to help you right now. Being steady on the grind all the time is not the way to go, especially not for you. I'm getting you're a very creative person and for creativity to grow and flow and glow and <laughs> blow <laughs> uh you're gonna have to really really allow yourself to open your heart up open up your heart and your sacral i'm hearing sacral chakra también uh some things you might be feeling guilty about in the love department allow yourself to be bountiful in love because for you my lovely in order to succeed in life you gotta love what you do your current 
Hmm. Your current situation. We got the tower, we got the ace of wands, and we got the knight of pentacles. Let's get some obstacles. What is my lovely pile three's obstacles when it comes to their finances? Oof. Okay, okay, okay. We got the justice card, the death card, the ace of swords. And let's get some advice. What, how should they proceed forward? Mm. Yeah, you're gonna... <laughs> you are gonna have to make a decision. Okay, can we get two more? Mm. Yep, we got the Queen of Swords and Knight of Swords again. It came up again. Okay. So, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, you are going to see the fruits of your labor very soon, but you definitely have to open up your heart. And with the Three of Cups, let your friends help you. Be honest with your circle. Be honest with your tribe. Be honest with those that you're close with in matters of your heart, of the things that are hurting you. You closing off your heart is not good for you. It's not helping you. Um, okay, so this is your reading. All right, so my first message to you, my lovely hummingbird, is uh, things did not turn out the way you expected them to. What does that mean, Monroe? Well, baby. One of the things that showed itself to me was the Emperor card. And pile one got the emperor card but pile one and pile two are attached to each other i feel like you have nothing to do with that situation while there might be some tiny messages in there for you in the other two piles you are a whole other section of twin flames you are not that chaos that they got going on if you're coming from one and two i'm sorry i love y'all it's chaos you know it but you also got the tower card. You are currently in a moment of sudden change and forward movement and motion and upheaval, especially when it comes to your communication and creative pursuits and how you make your money. So one of the things that I'm getting with the fact that the Emperor card showed itself to me, it's very... You got your person and it is nothing like what you thought it would be. And this is for my twin flames that are already in union. You're with them and you're like, what the fuck? Because they don't look like you thought they were going to look. They don't act the way that you thought they were going to act. You had painted a very specific picture of what you thought this person should be like for yourself before you knew who your twin was because i'm not calling you a judgy bitch or that you are very judgmental but you care a lot even though you might have this facade of i don't give a fuck what people think about me you do you do because with the judgment card here what i noticed was like elderly woman very pious with the angel wings putting down judgment especially over your body and what i got from it wasn't just body count it was the type of person that you put yourself with so while you don't give a fuck about people and their opinions and all this stuff and you're very of the mindset of like i stay in my own lane and blah 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 blah, blah you do care to some degree you give a fuck about what people say about the person that is linked to you because you know how you want to look aesthetically. You have a very, you might call yourself shallow often, but you have a very like specific idea of how you want things to be. And this person doesn't fit that standard. But the thing that you are being asked here is do you fit that standard? Are you being unfair because you're setting unrealistic expectations over a person? and yourself 
based on what other people might think or say. I love you, my lovely hummingbirds. You are having real shallow pond behavior when you are meant to be in the ocean. Cut it out. And the reason that I said your emperor also in the tower card, the first thing that I noticed was the crown flying off. And you were like, what the fuck? This is not what I expected. There's a reason for that. Because the purpose of a twin flame, baby, they are here to heal us. And that is the gross parts of us, too. So if you do often call yourself a shallow being, a judgmental being, a person of like all these things, of all these little nitpicky things, then what do you think your person is going to come and help you do? Not be a judgy bitch and not be a very shallow person and not be a rude or cruel individual and really reevaluate who you are and how you demonstrate love. What does this have to do with your career and finance as well? This person is very attached to them because you have a very, very important purpose in life. With the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords here, the way the cards came out, they are running towards each other. You are probably involved in some form of communications and they are probably very... They have a good mindset on how to get shit done. So while you, you know the TikTok sound of like, I'm the talent. I don't have to worry about that. You're the talent. You're the face of it. You're the one that goes out there and spreads the message and everything. And they're the ones that crunch the numbers in the back end. You are the creative baddie that shut herself out and was like, who needs a heart? Not me. And then the universe was like, yeah, I watch this. And now you are out here doing backflips. Your obstacle, though. You have the justice card, the death card, the ace of swords, two of swords, five of wands, and ten of pentacles. How is this an obstacle? How is Ten of Pentacles an obstacle? Well, what did I just say where you currently find yourself? You didn't think this person was it for you. You don't... They didn't fit the cut and paste image that you had painted. And you were like, how, universe? How dare you? If you got that cut and paste, would you know what to do with it? Would you be able to still move forward and do everything if your focus was pulled in such a way? Oftentimes, when we get a um, version of what we asked for is because you're going to get the beautiful, gorgeous butterfly at the end of it, but... You got to be there for the caterpillar phase because that's where the growth is. That's where the journey is. That, that's where the journey begins. That's where you are in that state of yes. This is how we build. Because you are going to get everything you ask for at the end of it. But there are going to need to be some tweaks in your character, in you as a person. To be able to fully open yourself to this love and this care. Because I don't know who the fuck told you that you are not a sweet, tender, loving baby. And yes, the world, kind of shitty. People suck. If you are traumatized or were hurt or caused some form of hurt, especially from people close to you. I'm very sorry. I hope you get the help you need or are getting the help you need. I hope you are doing everything in your power to take care of you. But you need to allow yourself to be soft. You need to stop being so scared of breaking down those walls, letting people in, and also seeing you for you. 
Stop chasing what everybody else is doing online. What everybody else is doing in the world. Just be you. The way to your success is to openly be yourself. I know, crazy idea, crazy concept, but it's the truth, my love. The other thing that I'm getting from the death card, Justice and Ace of Swords here, whatever is dead and gone, let it stay there. Do not seek past hurts trying to heal something that's already been healed and whatever might have put you through some like especially like a tragic upheaval or change you are going to get justice in the situation but the way that you're going to be able to do this is by telling your story with the ace of swords here you are going to have to open up and share your story to the world because that's your purpose baby also five of wands two of swords and ten of pentacles you are going to have to make a decision to move forward to move forward to accept what the universe has given you to stop the battles stop the fighting stop the doubts and insecurities and really move forward in love you need to open open your heart space up open up your sacral look up the heart and sacral chakras and how you can work on healing and cleansing those and not see healing and cleansing doesn't even sound right more like realigning yourself because like you running around in this aggressive sense doesn't help and also very very strong message coming through right now everyone is not you everyone does not operate the way you do and just because they are not on your time and your path and operating in the ways that you do does that mean that they are not perfectly aligned with what they're supposed to be doing for themselves oftentimes we take the burdens of others unknowingly because we love people and we want them to do good and all this stuff but whoever this is that is going through this right now babe they have to because they're on their own journey i'm getting with their own person <laughs> so it's probably one of your friends and i'm not saying that their person has to essentially come and rescue them out of it but right now your focus needs to be you and your twin And accepting that your twin is your twin and that you do love them and that love is scary and that you're still trying to figure it all out but you will and it's gonna be so beautiful you gotta let down them walls don't know why I said it like that <laughs> uh, but yeah as far as your friends like be open be communicative but understand that like Everyone is on their own journey. And at the end of the day, no matter how hard you want to love someone out of a situation, you can't love them out of a situation, especially if the universe is saying, hey, they have to be in that situation right now because them being in this situation is pushing the other situation to come towards them to fix it. <laughs> like... one of one of the really 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 big lessons uh that i personally had to learn in my life as a whole <laughs> as a whole is while we love our friends we love our family we love our friends that we make our family we love the people close to us our journey and their journey is not the same while we might intertwine in our lives and run in parallels towards each other and go hand in hand and share this crazy experience that is life, that does not mean that we are on the same journey. Especially, my darlings, I'm getting that you are in a huddle of twins, which that's awesome because that means you can all support each other in all the craziness. But... 
that means that at some point you're all gonna separate from each other because then you have to individually start your personal journeys and as much as this is gonna hurt right now you're there that separation from the tribe that was built those dreams and visions because you're probably also very intuitive of hey i can't see you because i have to go with them over here is starting now and that is terrifying because if you are anything like me i love my besties like they are literally my soul family we have been there through some fucked up shit right and i i'm also in a huddle of twins so it's like i know that at some point and oh my god i'm gonna cry right now why am i tearing up jeez i can't cry out my lenses <laughs> i just changed them not that long ago oh my god um Wow, I just got really emotional. That's cool. I'm gonna drink some coffee now. Oh. Uh, you're meant to be your own individuals. With your own time frames. With your own people. And while you can still be there and love and support each other, that shift of love and support is not going to be working together anymore. It's going to be a, like, not even a working through things together anymore. It's going to be a, hey, how you been? Let's catch up. Let's go have some fun. Let's enjoy life together. Versus a, hey, what can I do for you? Hey, how can I help you? Like, that part? Y'all ride in solo with your significant others at this point. And if you did reach union before them and they are pile one and two, <laughs> and you're just like, what the fuck? Get it together. I love you. It's going to be okay. The universe got this one. This, this doesn't involve you anymore. And don't, don't do the same thing you've always done your whole life of taking on everyone and everyone else. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone and everyone else's problems along with you and don't also get into this like all right well fine if that's if that's what they want if that's what this is gonna be then fine fuck them i'm gonna do me no this doesn't mean cut off your tribe babe this means find the balance of like hey let's have fun and enjoy life and do all this good shit i know you're going through chaos i'm going through chaos all this stuff but just enjoy versus let's be in in hustle mode let's be in grind mode let's be in this also for a lot of you uh sorry for that weird pause there i had like the grossest burp right now and everyone's like it means that you're speaking truth a <laughs> but <laughs> don't know why i did the fonzie thing um also one of the things you're gonna travel really soon. Yay! Ooh, that should not freak you out. Why did I just get freaked out? That shouldn't freak you out. You should be very happy about that. Travel is beautiful. Uh, what you have coming forward, and yes, I know I just said travel, but four of pentacles, seven of wands, and four of wands. So, marriage, commitment, union, permanence is coming forward. Are you going to have to defend and be protective over your person? Yes, but they are over you too. Also, with the four of pentacles there, I'm not getting like... be smart with your money especially with all like the creative and pretty and all that stuff like vibes that i'm getting from you some of you might be water signs some of you might be air signs i'm getting water and air very heavy be very careful with your money right now don't go out and about all the time spending it that's not good for you at this moment uh if you are gonna build this abundance and good fortune and all this good shit you are gonna have to 
save your coin and if you guys are gonna travel because it's you and your person traveling not your friends just you and your bae y'all going on a vacation <laughs> uh getting towards the end of may mid-may for some of y'all some of y'all it's coming in a couple weeks because you can't be here when your friend that you're worried about when their person comes in you can't be here because you gotta be with your bae and build up your bae dumb and they have to handle their shit okay so just take that as it resonates my loves because that's not for everybody but <laughs> new life your new life is beginning don't fight it i know it is scary especially if all of y'all are like real close to each other your whole tribe it can be scary but the person home came out the person or showed up i should say the person that you're meant to build your life with is your significant other that does not mean like clinginess and codependency and all this shit of course not you still have your friends there you still have your support system like all of that is still there but don't try to pull them into everything you're doing and everything that you're supposed to be doing with your person all the time because it's that time babes you got to build your future with your boo is here and they gotta do it with theirs and it's gonna be okay it's gonna be good but that time of separation of the tribe so that the twins can all unite it's here oh yeah all right you have been ignoring your spiritual cleansing all right so what i'm getting is during because of where you find yourself right now and all these tower moments and all this like spirals it feels like you're doing the last bit of shadow work the last bit of the shit storm that has to come out before all this good fortune and abundance and glory comes in for you glory a lot of you might be very spiritual very or religious for some uh but you need to work on your spiritual cleansing and have courage to release self-debilitating beliefs especially like very harsh beliefs about yourself um i'm getting harsh beliefs and like not embracing your softness not allowing you to be like ooh, ooh princess like <laughs> what the fuck that was <laughs> that was very specific in pile one i was like look i have like little ooh, ooh cat ears out of like my own hair um <laughs> but some of you might be into anime this one's coming up <laughs> uh sorry <laughs> i don't know what that was <laughs> embrace your joy embrace your em, your fun your happiness your like soft side it's not going to once you do you're gonna level up big time like you've been having a glow up but after you do that it's gonna be like whoosh because like your life isn't supposed to hurt I just heard the fucking Abraham Hicks sound on in my head of like because my life is supposed to go well and the universe is always on my side and all that stuff like if you've stopped listening to that go ahead and listen to it and and do some some cleansing of of yourself of what you have with you on the inside and any negative thoughts and patterns that you've built around even your soul tribe because of whatever expectations you have placed upon yourself and timelines and all this thing you need to really let go they're fine they're safe everything's gonna be okay for them they're gonna be very abundant and all the stories that you guys have commutatively commult seen and viewed and the visions and the beautiful and the storyboards and all this stuff it's all gonna come to fruition it's all gonna happen for them it's all gonna happen for you all of you 
but it's time to move forward with your boo. I don't know why that scares the fuck out of you. I love you. <laughs> that kind of rhymed. <laughs> um, magic and trust. Trust your journey. You guys are magical. You are divine. You are... Maybe... Oh, that was... That's interesting. I heard... Espiritu Sanctus, which is like this thing... What I saw was like Holy Week, and they used to, in nombre de patris, de filis, de espiritu sanctis, they love to speak Latin in Catholic Church during Holy Week. Uh, <laughs> so maybe you're having questions about if you should go to church and stop. This isn't for everybody, y'all. Don't start going in the comments all crazy. But whatever denomination you are and you're thinking about going to church or maybe for some of you switching denominations it is a yes go ahead step into the house of god if you feel like you need to reconnect and like you've lost touch especially with your soft side like you start healing those wounds of allowing yourself to be a squishy baby again because you are adorable and you deserve love and you deserve to be squishy baby not everything has to be so intense all the time my darling new moon and shift so during the new moon is when a switch happened for you and there's a little thing here of when the new moon was and the next new moon and we got a full moon coming up in a couple days so definitely 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 set your intentions appropriately set your intentions for you and your divine counterpart pray for your friends yes but do not set the intention to control the outcomes of their situations because this is your journey with your person focus on y'all and accept that shift accept what is coming accept what is happening allow it to come in because good fortune and abundance is on the horizon baby you got this you got this um but yeah that's it for you today my lovely hummingbirds go ahead and go to the only fans if you are so inclined for the extended reading uh and yeah just enjoy life have fun if you are so inclined to get a personalized reading with yours truly uh click the link in the description as well to go to my calendly and reserve a reading with me i just lost my box um <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna give like some little tidbits and last pieces of advice in the extended just like just like a good uh, uh, pick me up because all the readings were really intense around career and finances and they all involved love and I definitely blame the whole thing going on with Venus right now <laughs> well hmm interesting I think it's in Taurus or is it going into cancer one of the two it's one of the two. Either way, Taurus is all about love and Cancer is all about, sorry, hello, uh, nurturing and all that stuff. You might be very stubborn when it comes to the way that you view love. Open yourself up to the possibilities, baby. It's worth it, okay? I love you all so much. If this is, well, yeah, this is where you're leaving me. This is the end of the video. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> As always, uh, <laughs> les mando mucha paz, muchos besos, y les recuerdo que miren hacia la luna, sending you much peace, many kisses, and reminding you to always look up at the moon. I love you all so much. Follow me on all my handles. Uh, watch the other readings if you are so inclined. If not, I will catch y'all tomorrow for a video on this channel. And yeah, okay, I'm done rambling. Uh, get some sleep, <laughs> drink some water, take your vitamins, as my bestie always reminds me, <laughs> and enjoy it. Enjoy life. Life is supposed to be good and fun, and yes, it has achy parts, and you might be helping other people get out of achy parts. I don't know, but you deserve to live a, a happy, happy, smooshy life, okay? I love you so much, my lovely hummingbirds. Have fun. Take a chill pill for some of you. And yeah, okay, that's it. I love y'all. Have a good one. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>